Bully Beatdown. Bully Jason finds out the hard way that it takes more than looks to survive in the cage. I could stare at myself all day. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna f myself. <laughs> He's been picking on his own stepbrother for 20 years. The first time we met, he hit me. Now listen, I'm in a rock band, and I'll tell you something. Drummers are all a little weird. I know my drummer, Tony Work, is watching this right now going, Steven, how dare you disrespect me in front of these people? But the truth is, he's also a bass player, so he's not exclusively a drummer. But drummers tend to be a little bit strange. You don't pick on him because of that. And he's also got a special relationship with this guy, Josh. He comes up behind me. Gives me a huge atomic wedgie, and I eventually had to have uh, anal surgery where they had to sew up this tear. You're lying to me. You're 40, so atomic wedgies don't really exist in your reality. So let's stop it. Stop Jason from further ruining my life. And my mom made Jason's father when I was five years old, and the first time I ever met him, he bit the crap out of my arm. But that was pretty much the beginning of a horrible relationship. How you doing, kid? I'm glad you're part of the family. My name's Josh. I met Jason about eight years ago. I met him through his brother, Brett. Uh, Jason would always pick on me in high school. One day, I was coming out of the showers, and when I wasn't looking, I was by my locker getting dressed, and he comes up behind me. It was the most excruciating pain I've ever been through in my life. When I went home that night, there was like some blood in the toilet. I had to go to the doctor because I couldn't crap right. And I eventually had to have uh, anal surgery where they had to sew up this tear. Let's you know? go, man. Anal surgery, man. And also, he's about to show us. I still have my scar right Let's there. go. He's showing the scar to MTV and the entire American public. It was the most humiliating experience I've ever been through in my whole life. Mayhem, I'm begging you. I need you to find someone big enough and bad enough to give it to him and rip Jason a new one, just like he tore me. Showed it twice! Showed it two times to us! Now, if this story is indeed fabricated and he didn't get an atomic wedge that tore his all apart, then how did he get that scar? Hey, this guy's Bah, the NPCs are business. laughing. Ha ha ha. Emotions. <laughs> I want to get paid to watch him get his ass whipped. Uh-uh. Simple. I mean, listen, if he tore my butt apart, pause, I'd be pretty pumped up about him getting his, uh, his comeuppance as well. My best feature besides my face, it's got to be my arms. Girls love to grab them. I like to show them off. But let's not pretend like you like girls, though, right? One, two, left hook, lights out. Ah, he didn't know that the left hook was a three. Instead of going one, two, three, he goes one, two, uh, left hook. Josh. You basically ripped his butthole. Grabbed him by his tidy whities I ripped those things so far over his head, atomic wedgie, he was stuck leaning back, waving his arms around. So would this be the last time you see yourself ripping another man's butt? <laughs> yeah, I can't answer that. It took him too long. You know why? Because he likes to have with men. Still hasn't said anything because he wants to make love to men. Uh, well, if someone's bugging me too much, I might. Bugging meaning attractive to him. Brett, just tell me a little bit about Brett. He's my, my, my brother, my stepbrother. Would you say it's embarrassing to have him related to you? Well, first off, we're not related. But his Literally related. Literally the definition of relation. Mom, so brother, brother in quotations. So you're related. <laughs> hmm. Ah, chromosomes. He doesn't have the amount that he needs to be a functional human being. If we were to play a game of happy grab ass, would you want to go first or second? Second. All right, I think I've seen enough. Can I uh, take that back? I probably wouldn't play. It will be Bye. a- And here comes Big John Murphy. He's a submission and Muay Thai specialist with most of his professional victories coming from knockout or submission. He stands six foot three and weighs 240 pounds. I'm gonna rearrange this pretty boy's face. Love it. I gotta say, if there was one hairstyle I can choose, it might be that hairstyle. Imagine me with that hairstyle. I'm gonna grab my wrist. I'm gonna go over oh, the top. Oh, this poor guy's in so much trouble. Grab my wrist. Yeah, ah, showing Jeremy, oh, showing oh, him a standing oh, kimura. Hey, that's my mustache guy you're doing a kimura on, Jeremy. Nobody likes you, Jason. But you know what's important is that if you leave a like for this video, come on, boy, that segue was smooth, though. Subscribe, hit post notifications, support the Strangle Gang. We're growing, baby. Oh, he looks pumped up, man. Look at him. 
Yo, he just closed his eyes and said, his hair is immaculate. Let's go, they come out. John Murphy looking to close the distance. It's a double, gets sprawled on. Hardcore. High school wrestling here. But, um, ow, ends up on top in the closed guard. How'd that happen? Bad shot by John Murphy. Decent hips by the big kid. Beautiful sumigeshi over the top. He used essentially what, what we call a sumigeshi or a hook sweep to elevate the bully's center of gravity over the top. That was clean, man. Right to the mounted position. I don't understand why he let the bully put him back on bottom, though. Very surprised at that. Looking to lock up the strangle here with the guillotine. Low wrist, though. Not the best grip. Ooh, John Murphy oh, no, looking for the armbar. John Murphy locks up the armbar, gets extension. Excellent job by John Murphy getting the armbar. He had some rough spots in there where he lost submissions that I don't think he should have. But either way, he gets a beautiful textbook armbar from the closed guard position. Okay, that guy's having a conniption in the crowd, though. All right, John Murphy, you got to set up your shots, man. There we go. Snap down. Yo, sprawls on the bully. Actually, this is a good thing. Excellent guillotine. Excellent guillotine. Yo! The bully gets the takedown. That is embarrassing. So he gets a guillotine. The issue is he had a guillotine, if you notice, with a low wrist by the below the clavicle. You want to go high wrist. That'll prevent the body lock, and it'll also put way more leverage on the strangle. That's exactly what you saw there. But the bully's going to be tired from this exchange. Wrench it. Wrench it. John, do jujitsu right. He's probably gonna get it, he got it. That was not a technically perfect guillotine because notice that the hands are below the shoulder line. You want a high wrist, high elbow if possible, but definitely high wrist. He still got it though, the bully's gonna be very fatigued. He used a lot of energy on that takedown. I think he's gonna come out a little more fatigued in the third go. Yeah, see? See how he's getting a little more. Oh, don't go for a drop Sayanagi, single legs. Man, John Murphy, man, what are you doing? I gotta say, John Murphy, I'm very disappointed. I gotta say, I don't know what he was just doing. Switch your hips out. Switch your hips out now. Now get your hips out. Excellent. John now Murphy setting up the it. triangle. Switches back arm to the armbar. Arm gets arm extension on the arm, but the angle is just trash. Bandicoot. He adjusts it, though. He adjusts it and gets the armbar. Beautiful work. Excellent job. Now, the finishing position was decent, but man, the setups were just atrocious, huh? Now, John's gonna watch this and go, Steve, you're a real douchebag, all right? You got a big mouth, you sit on that goddamn chair, and you just talk. I think I have the right to do it, and I think that a lot of the Strangle Gang members have the right to do it, too. And it's all love, John Murphy. I complimented your hair for half the show. Give me a break. Yo, man, are you sure you would like to participate in these festivities? Bah! He rephrased the question that John Murphy asked in a slightly more eloquent way. All right, they come out. John Murphy. Wait, kick, Let's kick. see how he does. Inside low kick. Outside low kick. Pulls back with his chin up. Hard low kick. Now combination. I'd like to see him. Uh, Bully's looking to uh, counter over the top with the right hand here. John Murphy not really getting his hands off well and taking some punches. Nice left hook by John Murphy, though. That was a clean one. Now he's going to make this kid fight. Another low kick. Now, if you've never been kicked low, not in the balls, but low in the legs, it can be demoralizing, you know? You might be able to take a shot in the head genetically. The body, you might do a good job of getting your elbows in, but if you're not good at checking kicks and taking kicks to the leg, it takes your energy out in such a way. It's really shocking at first. Combination, combination, on. Oh, overhand right. Bully takes it well. Man, he has to let his hands go, John Murphy does. He has two minutes to work. John, you gotta work. Nice right hand, sneaky by, by John Murphy. But John Murphy isn't putting it. Oh, head kick. Body kick right hand. That hurt the bully bad. Another right hand. Oh, he's landing thunderous shots now. It's close range Superman punch. So ridiculous looking. Ooh, that was a hard left hand. John's looking closer to jump in now. Kid's taking way too many shots. Hard shot again. Throws him to the ground. Wearing him down. Making him get back up. Burning his lungs. Burning his legs. Concussing him. Hard body kick. That was hard. Hard body kick. Hard right hand. Oh, they got to stop this. Yeah. Excellent job by John Murphy. 
So John Murphy strategically landed hard shots, body kicks, shots to the head, forced him down to the ground, made him get back up, and he knew that would exhaust him within a minute and a half, and it played out really well. John Murphy's, you know, was a veteran at this point. In my humble opinion, I mean, there's only there's only one more thing to do. Oh. Gave him a wedgie. Look at him. Look at him. Enjoying every minute of it. Jason on Jason crime right now. <laughs> yeah, but they don't go in between the butt cheeks, by the way. So it was actually just like not a real wedgie. The Strangle gang, if you want to learn techniques that you saw in the cage or maybe techniques that we wish we saw in the cage during this episode, check out my Patreon. As always, I appreciate the support and watch some more videos. They're about to pop up right now.